What's up everybody, it's SJG. Got a little bit of current news along with some history, so let's get to it. Bluefield College finds itself in hot water right now. Why is it in hot water? Because it forfeited a game against an NAIA opponent because it didn't have enough players. Not because of COVID, which you might think, but because it suspended its players for taking knees during the national anthem in previous games. The president, he doesn't seem to like that too much. And so he came down hard on them. And now the national media and everyone else is getting a taste of what's going on in Bluefield, Virginia. So why are we talking about this? Because Bluefield College is not an HBCU. I repeat, Bluefield College is not an HBCU. The reason why we're talking about that on HBCU game day is because there is an HBCU named Bluefield that is an HBCU, but it also is a predominantly white institution. <sighs> I know. Take a second, digest it. We'll continue. Bluefield College is in Bluefield, Virginia. Bluefield State College is in West Virginia. How far are they? Well, if you started running at the beginning of this video, you might get there not long after I finish. So they are located, they are separated by about seven miles, uh, about seven minutes, a three mile uh, drive in the car. So very close, but they have very different histories. Bluefield State, of course, again, is an HBCU. Now, how did it go from being an HBCU to being over 80% black? Simple. The Great Migration happened and West Virginia's black population plummeted. So because of that, West Virginia State is, along with Bluefield State, are predominantly white, but they are historically black. And once upon a time, both schools, especially Bluefield, was a power in HBCU sports. Bluefield State was one of the top teams in the mid the Midwestern Athletic Conference back in the day. Now, that conference is so old. If you don't know about it, don't feel bad. Even Tali wasn't around then. But they won Black College National Championships. And they were coached by Harry Jefferson, who went on to coach at Virginia State at Hampton University. Now, they joined the CIAA in 1932 uh, when it was the Colored Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. Uh, athletic Association. So that shows you how far, uh, how long they've been around. That was ago. Uh, but anyway, in 1955, both Bluefield and West Virginia were put in the West Virginia Athletic Conference because West Virginia was actually trying to be kind of progressive. Brown versus Board of Education had happened and they wanted to move their black schools in with the rest of the schools. And so that severed those ties. And that leads to a lot of the confusion today about Bluefield State and Bluefield College. But again, Bluefield College has never been an HBCU, will never be an HBCU. Bluefield State is an HBCU and will always be an HBCU, but it is predominantly white. However, even with that said, it does play several CIAA teams, and there's been some speculation that they may one day join the CIAA. Now, it is outside of the CIAA's footprint, but so was Claflin before they brought that South Carolina school in there as well. So we'll have to see what happens with that. They did actually add a football team, so that might make things a little bit interesting. But so in closing, we, guys, we want you guys to know that Bluefield College is not an HBCU. Bluefield State is an HBCU, and at the same time, it is a predominantly white institution. It's a lot. If you need to watch this video again, look, we won't hold it against you. I promise we won't. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and make sure that you hit the notifications button so you never miss a video. Appreciate you guys so much. And remember, Bluefield College, not an HBCU. Bluefield State, an HBCU.